which of the following is a congenital infection that can cause hearing loss and intellectual disability in newborns a rubella virus b cytomegalovirus c varicella zoster virus d herpes simplex virus and the correct answer is b cytomegalovirus Congenital cytomegalovirus infection can cause hearing loss and intellectual disability in newborns. Which of the following is a genetic disorder that affects the lungs and digestive system and can cause poor growth and frequent lung infections in newborns? A. Down syndrome. B. Tay-Sachs disease. C. Cystic fibrosis. D fragile x syndrome and the correct answer is C cystic fibrosis cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that affects the respiratory digestive and reproductive systems it causes the production of thick and sticky mucus in the lungs and digestive tract leading to various complications such as lung infections difficulty breathing malnutrition and pancreatic insufficiency the severity of the disease can vary from person to person but it is a progressive and potentially life threatening condition there is currently no cure for cystic fibrosis but the treatments can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life which of the following is a characteristic feature of tetralogy of fallow a atrial septal defect b patent ductus arteriosus c ventricular septal defect d aortic stenosis and the correct answer is c ventricular septal defect in tetralogy of fallow ventricular septal defect refers to a hole or opening in the wall between the two lower chambers of the heart that is ventricles This opening allows blood to flow from the left ventricle to the right ventricle instead of flowing out to the body. In addition to the ventricular septal defect, tetralogy of fallow also includes three other defects that affects the heart's structure and function. These include pulmonary stenosis, right ventricular hypertrophy, and overriding aorta. Which of the following best describes hydrocephalus? A. A condition characterized by an abnormal accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain. B. A condition characterized by a lack of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain. C. A condition characterized by underdevelopment of the brain. D. A condition characterized by enlargement of the brain. And the correct answer is A a condition characterized by an abnormal accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain Hydrocephalus is a condition characterized by an abnormal accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid in the brain What is the neural tube defect that results in the absence of a major portion of the brain skull and scalp A spina bifida B anencephaly C encephalocele D meningocele and the correct answer is B anencephaly Anencephaly is a neural tube defect that results in the absence of a portion of the brain skull and scalp it occurs when the neural tube which forms the baby's brain and spinal cord fails to close completely during embryonic development as a result the developing brain and skull are absent exposing parts of the baby's developing brain tissue there is no treatment or cure for anencephaly and it is typically diagnosed during routine prenatal ultrasound examinations The exact cause of anencephaly are not completely understood but certain risk factors have been identified including a lack of folic acid intake during pregnancy maternal obesity and exposure to certain chemicals and drugs during pregnancy
What is the neural tube defect in which the brain tissue herniates through a hole in the skull? A. Spina bifida B. Anencephaly C. Encephalocele D. Meningocele And the correct answer is C. Encephalocele Encephalocele is a rare birth defect in which a sac-like protrusion of part of the brain and its covering membranes protrude through an opening in the skull. Encephalocele can occur anywhere along the midline of the skull but the most common location is the back of the skull near the neck. The severity of encephalocele can vary depending on the location, size and the amount of brain tissue involved. Encephalocele is typically diagnosed by prenatal ultrasound or during a physical exam shortly after birth. Which of the following is a congenital disorder that affects the development of the spinal cord and can lead to paralysis? A. Spina bifida B. Hydrocephalus C. Cleft palate D. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia And the correct answer is A. Spina bifida Spina bifida can cause paralysis because it is a birth defect where the neural tube which develops into the spinal cord does not fully close during fetal development. This can result in damage to the nerves in the spinal cord which can lead to partial or complete loss of motor function and sensation below the affected area. Depending on the severity and location of the spina bifida, paralysis can occur in the legs, feet and other areas of the body. Which of the following is a congenital disorder characterized by a hole in the muscle that separates the chest and abdominal cavities? A. Spina bifida B. Hydrocephalus C. Cleft palate D. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia And the correct answer is D. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia Congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a birth defect that affects the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen and it helps with breathing. In babies with CDN, a hole in the diaphragm allows the organs from the abdomen, usually the stomach, intestines and liver to move into the chest cavity. This can prevent the lungs from developing normally, leading to breathing difficulties and other complications. Treatments may include surgery and support for breathing and outcomes depends on the severity of the hernia and other factors. Which of the following is a genetic disorder that affects the production of melanin, leading to a lack of skin, hair and eye pigmentation? A. Albinism B. Turner syndrome C. Kleinfelter syndrome D. Down syndrome And the correct answer is A. Albinism Albinism is a genetic condition in which the body can't produce enough melanin, resulting in people with very pale skin, hair and eyes. It also causes vision problems, increased sensitivity to light and a greater risk of skin damage from the sun. Which of the following is a congenital disorder that affects the bile ducts leading to blockages and damage to the liver? A. Biliary atresia B. Cholecystitis C. Hepatitis C D. Pancreatitis And the correct answer is A. Biliary atresia Biliary atresia is a rare and serious liver disease that affects newborn babies. It is a condition in which the bile ducts, that means the tubes that carry bile from the liver to the small intestine for digestion are either absent or blocked. These absent or blocked bile ducts lead to a buildup of bile in the liver. This can cause the liver to become damaged and eventually fail leading to life-threatening complications if left untreated. Symptoms of biliary atresia may include jaundice, pale stools, 
डार्क यूरिन एबडोमिनल स्वेलिंग एंड पुअर वेट गेन और ग्रोथ ट्रीटमेंट फॉर बिलियरी एट्रेसिया यूजली इन्वॉल्व सर्जिकल इंटरवेंशन टू आइदर रिमूव द डैमेज बाइल डक्स और क्रिएट ए न्यू पाथवे फॉर बाइल इन सम केसेस लिवर ट्रांसप्लांटेशन मे बी नेसेसरी टू सेव द लाइफ ऑफ द एफेक्टेड चाइल्ड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए कंजनेटल डिजॉर्डर कैरेक्टराइज बाई ए होल इन द रूफ ऑफ द माउथ ए स्पाइना बिफिडा B. Hydrocephalus. C. Cleft palate. D. Congenital diaphragmatic hernia. And the correct answer is Drop your answers in the comment section below. For downloading PDF content and for latest updates follow our Telegram channel. I have given the link in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to hit that like button thanks for watching